Hey everyone, Dr. Alex here, and I'm back after a long break. And the reason for that long break is right here. Okay, buddy, you want to go back and eat? Yeah, he's cute. Okay, crouton, go eat. Okay, so guys, I'm back. Uh, really busy with moving houses and with a new dog, and I'm back. So today I want to go over a patient visit I had with uh, Billy Bob. Uh, Billy Bob, not his real name. And it's a good... Uh, case to discuss uh, because in this 11 minute video I'm, or 11 minute visit, I'm going to be able to talk a lot about, uh, you know, diagnosis, uh, the assessment, how we figured out what the actual problem was, how we managed it and how this patient had a better day because of it. So I've been taking care of Billy Bob for a long time now, I'm probably one of my first patients. He came today uh, complaining of really bad chest tightness, sorry, yeah, chest tightness on the left pec really bad pec spasm, uh, been under, uh, after some questioning, we asked if anything was new or different in his life. And he said, uh, same physical stressors, going to the gym, sitting at a desk, taking pretty good physical care of himself and his spine, but a lot of stress, um, and not just like job stress, but like existential stress, stress about finances, stress about his, um, job, his purpose in life, like some, some deeper things. So, uh, I told Billy Bob, okay. Uh, he actually was also worried. He had an ECG scheduled for later today. An ECG is an assessment tool to figure out if there's a problem with his heart. Uh, he had had an ECG earlier in the summer. It was normal, it's like 45, uh, actually very healthy young man. Um, so I wasn't too worried about it being a heart issue. Um, but the thing that led me to believe this is not an emergency room situation, no shortness of breath, no compounding chest tightness, like there's an elephant sitting on his chest. And the most important thing is that his symptoms here got worse with movement and only with certain positions, which if it was a heart issue, it wouldn't be. Also, uh, cardiovascular exercise didn't make this worse. So I'm already thinking, okay, this is probably more mechanical, more musculoskeletal. Is it a local issue? or is it the consequence or collateral damage from something else? So I said to Billy Bob, okay, so here's how this is gonna go. You're gonna lie on your stomach. I'm not gonna look at, I'm not gonna touch your chest. And I got 10 bucks that says that we're gonna find a lot of issues through the left lower side of your neck. No, don't pop the waterproof on. Left lower side of your neck and that the left hand side of your spine is gonna be a mess. So I assess him, I go up the right hand side and like thoracic spine does not move at all between thoracic two and thoracic six on the right. When I look at his left side, nothing moves in his thoracic spine. When I examine his spine between thoracic eight and thoracic one, so that's basically from the bottom of the shoulder blade to the base of his neck and his left lower rib cage, ouch, 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 uh, sorry, mid to upper rib cage underneath that shoulder blade, those costa vertebral or rib joints. So go ahead, do what I normally do, take good care of his spine, make a few corrections or adjustments through his spine, adjust his neck, leave him on the table for a second while I make notes, and then I reassess the, the pec, which uh, when I first put my hand on it was like a spasmed rock. Um, felt like he had just done about 200 push-ups on his left side only. And when I reassess it, gone, normal, totally back to what it was beforehand. I say, Billy Bob, move your arm around, stretch it, um, resist against me in that push-up position. He's like, yeah, feels totally normal. And then he's like, do we need to do any acupuncture? And I go, no, we don't need to do any acupuncture because there's no problem here in the pec. Everything went back to totally normal of what his case should normally look like without having to touch his pec. So what do we figure out? Was it an emergency room situation? It was not, the underlying problem was not with his heart. Second thing, the underlying problem um, was a, a byproduct of his spine and the nerves that go down to the pec. Uh, number three, was there maybe some local issue in the pec? Yeah, but that's gonna go away with some stretching and some rolling. You know, the majority of the issue was because there was a problem with his, his spine and his rib cage um, and the nerves that communicate between those two parts of the body. So, the moral of the story in this case is that if he had had just a local pec issue, yeah, I wouldn't have done some acupuncture. I would have sent his massage therapist and it would have went away. But in this case with Billy Bob, 
His issue was that uh, extreme emotional stress caused a physical change in his body that might have started with the pec or started with the spine. I do not know. But in the end, the underlying problem for the most part was in his spine. So that's what we corrected. And we sent him on his way. And 11 minutes, in that 11 minute span from coming in and being really, really worried that he had a heart issue, he left a relatively happy guy with no heart, no heart issue, no spine issue, no chest issue. And I told him to go to the gym today. And uh, also part of that visit was going over some diaphragmatic breathing. And that is how I sneak in with uh, meditation and mindfulness with patients because it's going to make them for five minutes work on their belly breathing, uh, keeping the chest nice and soft and also keeping the brain nice and soft. So the reason I wanted to share this visit with you guys is that I think it's really, really important to know that when somebody has a symptom or some sort of problem, it is not necessarily the pain is not necessarily where the problem is and that I think you should always see a doctor or a practitioner that's going to get to the root of the issue and not just mask the symptoms. And for me, you know, I'm, practi I'm a practical person. Yeah, practical, pragmatic person. I don't want to see anyone suffer a hidden issue here. I would have taken care of it. But I took care of it by moving his spine and he didn't need any acupuncture. So that's how I do things in my office. I always want to get to the root of the issue. I don't really have any skin in the game of how it's done. I just want to help people. I want to make them healthier. I want them to function better. And that is how we helped Billy Bob in this case. And thankfully, his name is not Billy Bob. So if you guys have any questions about what we do in the office, send me an email. Let me know. And if you want to see somebody who takes a similar approach, I would ask questions about how their examination looks, how they uh, assess what they're actually looking for to see how the body's functioning, and then how they're going to fix it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You take care, and I will see you next week as I do this a little bit more regularly. Bye. Okay, Crouton, let's party. Hey.